Well, we at the beginning of the year, we knew Cam was uh, a freak athlete. I mean, he won all the sprints in the summer and in the spring. Uh, we kind of couldn't get a feel for what he could do because he was limited contact the whole time. And uh, after that first game, seeing seeing what he could do and then seeing what he did against Clemson and South Carolina, uh, we, we knew that we had a special talent. And uh, it's just been fun to watch watch him play. And a play is never dead when you got Cam back there with the ball. So uh, it's just been real fun, a great opportunity for us. And uh, just I'm, I'm more proud of him for how he's been handling everything off the field, though. Uh, he's just don't know what that kid's going through, and he's just done a good job of maintaining it. Or what's to say about Cam that he has him on as well as you say he has? That he has it? Uh, just, that, just that he's a strong strong kid, strong kid, Christian, real good believer, and uh, I think he's just turned to the Lord a lot through all this, and um, the truth will set you free. So. Have there been any plays you've seen on film from Nick Fairley that made you just kind of go, wow, I mean, he just he blew by the <laughs> three-hundred pound? Yeah, there's plenty of plays I see him do that. Uh, there's one play, I want to say it might have been George's game, uh, where I just saw him just do a slim move on a, on a guard, and he was just standing there looking lost. He ended up turning, doing like a 360, turning around, trying to find where he went, and he was already back on the quarterback by then. There was some controversy about that, but can you say about the, what Nick brings to the, to the game? Is he an intense guy? Yeah, Nick, very intense. You know, he just played, played, <coughs> he played the game how it's supposed to be played, from snap to whistle. That's how I feel this is. He played, and, you know, anything else, you know, I, I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like he, played, he plays the game good, you know, the way it's supposed to be played down there on the D-line. It's, it's, it gets dirty down there. That's how it is. <laughs> Greg, how, how long does it take you to a new, play when you play in this game for the first time? How long does it take you to realize it's different than, than other games? <laughs> One snap. <laughs> That's all it takes. You know, it's, it's just, you know, it's like both teams come out, you know, with, with a physical physical mind state, you know. No matter what side of the ball it is, receivers all the way back to the running backs, you know. Uh, everybody just plays, you know, that extra hump just plays a little bit harder than, than a regular game. What is the atmosphere like for a player there? Um, <laughs> it's hectic. You know, you got the fans, once you're coming out the tunnel, they screaming at you, cussing at you, just, just doing anything to try to get in your head, you know. Some of them even, even throw things at you, you know. But, you know, you got to try not to let, let it get to you, just try to stay focused on the game. you seen it from both sides, right, that you've been in Alabama too. Is it different? Is the approach to it different? Well, that was 20-something years ago. Uh, I know I may not look like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I may. I may look like it longer than that. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that wherever you travel in this state, you, you know, you, you know, you know, and you know the way people look at you, you know, if they're for you or against you. And uh, that's just part of, part of living in this state and part of being a part of this and part of the – the privilege of being a part of this. Uh, this is quite a privilege as a coach or, or a player to, to be a part of this game and uh, one that we really understand how important it is. Uh, I don't really pay attention to what people say. Yeah. I pay attention to what I see. Uh, and it all goes together. Uh, we, all, we all take full responsibility together for our performance. Uh, we're accountable for that, we're accountable to one another, and we're accountable to our football team. Uh, so uh, whatever has or hasn't happened, because there's been some things, yeah, we wish they had been better, but there's been a lot of great things too. And, uh, you know, to, to, to accentuate the positives and to correct the negatives uh, so they don't come back and, and bite you. And that's kind of, you know, where we are. But uh, like I said, we're, as far as point fingers and say this is that or this is that, it all goes together. The DBs tackling the run game. We got guys rushing the pass room and throwing game. We got linebackers in coverage. So it's it's all it's all together. We're, we're one. Uh, just two great running backs that just go in there and and, and does it all. And I just do what the coaches ask them to do, and and they run hard and you know, nice body shapes and just you know, physical guys and just just one of those. Guys, where we're just gonna have to continue to hit, hit, hit until they feel like they wanna stop. <laughs>
from our defense is just going to have to play hard and just continue to do what they've been doing all season and just, you know, make sure that they know this game is personal to everybody and that their roles and their job has to be bigger than, than normal. You know, they're, they're, there's no weaknesses. They're very good up front. Uh, Their linebackers, you know, they're, they're as big as some defensive ends. I mean, they can flat out run. Their back end, they're extremely talented. Uh, you know, number four, but the Baron kid, he's as good as anybody in our league. Uh, great tackler, great instincts, good ball skills, everything. So they're going to make you earn it. And uh, it's, it seems very similar to last year to me when you look at them on film. And if you're solid up front and you stop the run, it makes sense that you know you're going to give up more on the back because they're going to pass. <laughs> <laughs>